everyone. So I was getting few queries regarding the DM Oncopathology course and how to use uh, Oncopathology course effectively to achieve your dreams. So I thought I will make a small video, uh, just a uh, 10 minutes video to tell you what is that course and uh, um, regarding the exam, the exam patterns and how to use uh, this course effectively. Right. So uh, first of all, why DM Oncopathology? You, you might ask why DM Oncopathology? Of course, you have taken this course. That means you have already made up your mind to prepare for DM Oncopathology. But why? See, uh, I feel is that uh, after complete, completing my residency from AIMS, I thought that uh, rather than doing SRCF, senior residency, which is again in, uh, for three years, right? Wait a minute. Yeah, so senior residency was for uh, three years. I thought uh, if I am doing DM Oncopathology, again, that is the, again of same duration, three year duration, right? That will add and, an extra uh, degree and that will also count as an experience, right? That you are getting in your SRCF. So, I thought for that reason I took DM and uh, regarding the course I will tell that in DM you will get um, hold of all three subjects I mean you will be obviously you will be dealing with in oncopathology you will be getting surgical pathology a lot right around say two-third of your uh, you know tenure you will be dealing with surgical pathology but you will also deal with hematopathology right cytopathology right and even molecular so these are the postings you usually get uh, when you get into DM oncopathology course and uh, uh, so that's why I think you will be, you know, having a hold on all the areas of pathology. And another thing, good, the drawback, of course, is that, yeah, you will not be dealing with, you know, benign biopsies, like say renal biopsies, benign renal biopsies, or benign liver biopsies, or benign skin biopsies, right? So that actually is a drawback. But anyway, uh, even in your senior residency, I hardly think any college give you exposure of these things in uh, uh, in that much detail uh, to make you capable of reporting stuffs, right? That require fellowships in it. So. For that reason, I think uh, DM Oncopathology uh, was a better option for me. Obviously, opinion will vary, but uh, uh, that, that is the reason I took DM Oncopathology, right? Okay, the next, uh, you might ask, what are the course, uh, what is the exam you have to go, what is the exam you have to give for uh, getting into DM Oncopathology? The exam is NEET SS examination. Uh, this exam occurs once in a year, right? And uh, usually it occurs in the month of November, but the last NEET was delayed. It, it was delayed that it occurred around, uh, say, five months late, five months delayed, it was five months delayed. So the last need that is need SS 2024 that occurred in uh, March 2025, right? March 2025. So, but usually yearly they will give, uh, conduct one need SS examination conducted by the same uh, the which can same uh, forum which can which uh, conducts need PG that is NBE, right? Okay. And uh, regarding the exam pattern, I will say the exam is of two and a half hour, 150 minutes, and you will be given 150 questions. Out of the 150 questions, you won't be given 150 questions at a time. Every 50 minutes, right? Every 50 minutes, you'll be giving 50 questions, right? Section A, three sections it has, section B and section C, right? The same, next 50 minutes, the next 50 question. You cannot go back to the section A once the timing for section A is over, right? Same applies here, right? So, hardly you get any time to revise. It's like whatever you have done, it's done, right? You might revise your own section of 50 questions, but you cannot revise, uh, you, you cannot think that, okay, I will complete early and I will go back and I will see all 150 questions. It, it, will, it won't happen. Uh, NB from this year, from March 2025, that exam, they have applied this pattern, right? And uh, uh, regarding the topics covered, I will say in the topics, I will say um, surgical pathology constitute obviously the major chunk, surgical pathology. And uh, from that around, we got uh, 100 questions, 100 to 110 questions, 100 questions, right? From hemat, hemat, they won't get, go into much detail, but basics they will ask, right? Uh, even hemolytic anemias. Basics they will ask, like this time they ask that uh, white cells are seen in which which uh, hemolytic anemia, right? Like that they will ask. So in Hemat we got around say I will say 30 questions, 30 questions from Hemat and 100 to 110 from surgical path. General path it varies, right? In this year uh, general path questions are very less. I mean it was around say 5 to 10 only, right? And from the techniques also, from the histo techniques, maybe regarding hematoxylin, regarding electron microscopy, regarding the microtomes and all, you might get five questions. So all total it will con constitute around. 150 questions from cyto also you will get around five questions five to ten questions cytology obviously that is included under surgical path only uh, so that's it that's regarding the topics you will get okay and uh, regarding the rank and all if i will uh, if uh, anyone of you is having a doubt i will say see up out of 150 questions right if you are at uh, you know uh, you know uh, making around 130 30 questions correct if you are doing that as per the neat ss 2024 right your rank will be in the top 10. That's there, right? And that's the trend followed in last 2023. I've seen in 2023, 2022 also. If you are making 130 correct, your seat is confirmed, right? So 
that's the thing and uh, regarding the number of uh, students appearing in the exam right number of students it was uh, around 500 nearly 500 last year so out of 500 uh, usually the seat huh, uh, the total number of seats this time were around 50 right so out of 500 students uh, 500 um, students appearing for the exam 50 students got the seat right so like that you can analyze how much you have to apply i will say that uh, if you ask mine i say i will say that i um, my opinion will be to attempt around 140 140 plus right so that you will get at least 130 correct to secure a good seat in a good college right and uh, regarding the seat matrix of the neat ss 2024 it was uh, around say I, I told you around 50 seats but of course to get uh, to your desired college like uh, say tata and all then you have to be in the top 10 right so uh, this year also in the top 10 most of the people got uh, took tata and next uh, bjnc ahmedabad kidway bangalore assam you know regional cancer center of kerala jaipur chennai all them um, have uh, seats and it is supposed to increase also right and next year it might increase to say 55 so uh, in my opinion it's i think it's a bit easier as compared to neat pg right because say out of 500 exam in, uh, exam appearing students you have to secure you have to be within the top 50 to get a seat right of course within the top 10 to get your desired seat that is a different issue but uh, i think it's a bit easier right and uh, regarding the topics what you should read then uh, i will say the first priority first priority should be right to watch all the lecture videos watch all of them right uh, i have already uh, divided them into different topics and i have covered in total from normal histology the pathology the histopathology the, and the uh, tnm classifications the recent wh updates even the psychology side by side so watch all the lecture videos and don't forget to solve all the mcqs right when i say all i mean not just surgical pathology of course you will uh, see surgical pathology but solve mcqs from, from hematopath the histotechnics hemat techniques from the general pathology also right see because get, for getting 130 questions correct out of 150 right you have to be you know you cannot take a chance right you cannot leave general pathology completely or hematology, hematology completely of course surgical pathology will be a major term but still still uh, th those things matter when we uh, when when you are to, supposed to get a top rank right like so mm, yes and grant test that is very important don't miss the grant test right we usually think that i will prepare everything and then i will give you a grant test but that time will never come believe me that will never come right so grant test timely is very very important so and most important i have written it three times revise revise and revise give three revisions right give three revisions whatever you have read before one month before the exam and see the result right it's, it's i believe me uh, it sounds harsh that okay how to become a top 50 out of the in the country but believe me it's very easy right because usually after completing pathology residency just uh, you know i don't know mindset is that okay i will go to a lab i will join somewhere else why to study more but uh, uh, in that many students are not giving exam only so uh, the number of students appearing from exam is less it's 500 only out of that being top 50 is a bit easier as compared to neat pg right neat pg was quite competitive and uh, when you talk about uh, apart from this if you have if you are done with this this is the first priority i told if you are done with this i will say your next priority even you can uh, keep it here also next priority should be robins right see previously what they used to do uh, they used to give around 70 50 percent of question 50 percent of question in last neat uh, ss from robins but this time i mean uh, in the 2024 uh, neat ss right what they did majority of the questions were from uh, the what we practice generally right and less theoretical questions everything was practical like uh, they will ask you give you a scenario they will give you an image they will ask you what is the next isc we will do rather than just giving a theoretical question from robins i guess i guess they are shifting from the rote learning question to practical questions right and uh, that's why from the robins uh, this time i will say uh, it was around 20 percent 20 to 30 percent from robins and 70 percent from our uh, surgical pathology and all ackerman sternberg and all right so um, in, in my lecture videos believe me i have covered whatever uh, i have prepared for um, this exam so yes i i have covered the um, whatever important points from sternberg ackerman fletcher and uh, other other books like rosens for breast um, and uh, soft tissue and all so i uh, did that but if you have time if you have time I, I will say this is the first priority this is your second priority because you never know they will switch to robins again you never know although the trend is towards surgical path but they might switch to robins in that case read uh, reading robins is important and what what topic to read in robins i will say in robins you first you know see telling that read line by line from robins is easy but that is easier said than done right in robins i want you to cover the all the tables all the tables and all the pictures right but when i say all i mean wholeheartedly and religiously right tables everything you, you need to know by heart you need to know and i have already given the tricks in my videos how to remember the tables already i have included robin's table as well as selective wh tables in my lecture videos but if you have time uh, you must go through the robin's table and robin's picture that i uh, whichever i felt important i covered but every picture i could not cover right so 
you have to see everything from the general pathology from the chapter one to chapter end to the end chapter every picture every table if you are not able to read any text don't read but read the uh, tables pictures and pi by pictures i mean the pictures as well as the bottom lines right see you have to think like an examiner whenever an examiner is asked to prepare question from dm onkopath do you think he will read line by line from robbins no right he will just turn up the page and you will see the clinching points from the tables from the pictures that they will give so in the robbins i want you to see the pictures the uh, whatever the uh, whatever the paragraphs written below the pictures right the description of the picture and the tables that is a must you i i feel you should do it around two to three times see what i used to do is that every night every night or every time when i get bored of all these uh, uh, reading surgical path and all just one hour one hour a day for three months and you can co cover whole picture and tables of robbins around three times and question i'm sure you can cover you try it one hour just pictures and tables that's it right and it will be like a cup of tea for you you do it for three times and uh, that will definitely that will definitely create a uh, you know boost your confidence that will boost your confidence and this one not endocrine actually who books right this is your third priority this should be your third priority right i i don't i will not recommend reading who book line by line now but yes if you have time although you would have done it in your pg if you have time just see the pictures just see the pictures and see the criteria just see the criteria criteria means the essential and the desirable criteria that much only that is sufficient right so that, that's the order first priority all the lecture videos mcqs grant test revision second robbins very very important and third if you have time go for who right that will do that i can guarantee if you are doing this much right then you, you definitely can solve 130 out of 150 questions very easily you can do that right and if you have time if many ask many keep asking that uh, what else what else i can do then i will suggest this book right this is an mcq book right uh, uh, but it is an old one sternberg's uh, surgical pathology review but still conceptual mcqs are given so already the important points i have already solved this book and the important points which i felt i have, I have already discussed in uh, lectures but if you want you can uh, uh, solve the mcq from this book this and uh, this pdf see whatever books i am saying this pdf sir you, you you can buy this book it's if you can buy it's well and good but if you cannot buy the pdfs are available in telegram right so you can access from there and uh, solve them and uh, regarding this book i will say see the good why i have kept this book is because of the fact so, that initially I, I thought i will give this questions from this book then i thought it will be futile right already you can access this book and you can solve these mcqs it's very less mcqs are there if you see say lungs topic you will get around 20 mcqs so it's easy to solve there is a answers are also there in this book so i feel you can uh, do i i i, I avoided any repetition in uh, pathology mcq is the thing right and this but, book uh, yeah this is i think in third priority i told who na, i will keep this one also simultaneously third priority right if you are not able to read who okay my lectures will cover that now you take care of this book natasa quick reference surgical pathology book it's a very good book and uh, i can i feel three revision from this book will be uh, you know definitely as i told uh, boost your confidence so yeah quick reference from natasa natasa raman this book this book is a very good very good one i think uh, this should be in your third priority right this one a, again a fourth priority and and to complete the uh, robins general pathology already i have given mcqs in patholite but I will say whatever course, not not just this one, not just this one. Whatever MCQ book you are following for your need PG, follow that. Don't buy anything extra. Just read the test to understand, just to revise. You already have given uh, general pathology exam many times. I understand that. Just a revision, especially the immunity topic, the neoplasia, and the in initial inflammation topic. Questions will come from that, right? So uh, this is a good book. I followed this one. But if you want, you can follow this one or the the one from the JP publication or any book, any general pathology you can cover from the review books that you are following for need PG, right? Need not to buy anything. After that, if you still have time, right, there is a Robbins MCQ book, right, the MCQs are quite lengthy, but very easy, uh, of course, I have, uh, whichever I felt difficult, I have included them in my lecture, uh, you can, if you have time, you can solve this one, for and cytopathology, you can solve any MCQ for that matter, right, not needed though, so, and that's it, that's my list, uh, regarding the exam, regarding the, uh, you know, uh, preparation strategy, and how to use Patholite, one thing I can say is that, you see, uh, outside, many will say, why you are preparing for exam, who gives exam now, and uh, why to do another course right what is the use it's an end branch like that but uh, if you uh, have understood the pros and cons of uh, this dm oncopathology and if you have made your mind don't listen to the outside noise right and most importantly not just dm oncopathology no most important is that you have to become the kind of pathologist that you trust with your own biopsy right i mean uh, if, if it is your own biopsy which pathologist you want them to see you become that pathologist right don't not, not just a mediocre pathologist say, i want to you to be you to stand out of the crowd right and if you want and and, and and if you have made your mind to do that right then please write write somewhere in your uh you know prepare study table you can do it you can do it it's not impossible at all trust me it's not impossible and it's even more easier than it is right so yeah and sorry uh so if any doubt you can directly reach to patholite at the rate gmail.com right so we will reply to any queries you have so that's it regarding how to use patholite 
effectively to achieve your uh, dream for DM oncopathology. Thank you.